What up, guys? This is, is episode 13 of Pokemon Fire Red. Or Leaf Green, depending on version you're playing. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we just left Lavender Town. We're going on Route 8 right now. And yeah, I'm heading to. Heading? Heading? Yes, we're heading. Pretty sure that's a verb, that doesn't mean heading. I'm pretty sure that's. Might actually have some sinister meaning to it. Uh, we have a bit of a predicament here. Okay, we're trying to. Ex as I'm battling this uh, gambler right here. You know, as Growlithe and another Growlithe. Um, well, one, you might notice I sound kind of different, maybe, because I just got myself a new microphone. It is a blue snowball microphone. I wanted a Yeti, but I got a snowball to do ch Yes. I really need to just, like, have a drum set right here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to do in the episode right here is that I'm going to try to avoid every battle as much as possible, because I'm going to get a, a lot of new party members right here. And uh, this is a mountain of EXP. Experience. EXP. Experience. Whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm going to avoid as much battles as possible. That was the uh, one battle I think I actually can't avoid. You know. Oh, and a uh, new Pokemon on this route is Growlithe. Um, I know it's a fan favorite, so if you guys want to check that out, it's on this route. I think um, Vulpix might replace on this route. I'll, no, I don't think Vulpix replaces it. And Leaf Green. Because Vulpix is a Leaf Green only, and Growlithe being Fire Red only. Yeah, I don't think Vul Vulpix is on this route. It's on a totally different area. Okay. Totally Sam Fishered that. Yeah, I'm just that cool. You know, he's one of those Sam Fishers the best. Stealth espionage, you know, screw. You know, Snake. It's it's Sam Fisher all the way, man. It's voiced by the guy that played Hellboy. Yeah. Where is he? I don't know. Are those guys the same person? I always thought they were. If not, um, don't quote me on that. I, I'm I'm an ignorant young person. I got myself a bike going down this route. Yes, um... Now we're on the other side of Saffron City, because we can't go to Saffron yet. Let me see. It's Route 7. Totally opposite side. And see, if we try to go to Saffron, um... Yeah, I'm a guard dude, I'm thirsty. Oh wait, road's closed. Okay. Yeah, the road's closed because she's thirsty. I, I just find it kind of stupid, you know. People these days. There's a rocket grunt out here. Roke it! Yeah, I'm trying to get my mic the try to gauge how loud I can talk. For some reason everything random words I say spike like there it didn't spike. Hold on. Yep. Let's uh, heal up right here for that one battle. Okay. Anyway, this is a uh, Cerulean City or Seldon City. Seldon, actually my probably my favorite in the whole game because it's so much stuff to do here. And uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna explore base this whole episode, <laughs> this whole 20 minute episodes, me going through Eldon City. Yeah, so it looks like we cut down. Would you like to cut? Yes, Dodrio, use cut, please. Thank you. We're gonna do that in a second. Here's a uh, Snorlax. Remember that from way back when, where we're gonna Vermillion. Anyway, you got a new party members in here somewhere. Yes, here it is. Yes, this is the flying and normal type Doduo. Yes, it, one of my personal favorites in the, um, the dual evolution family, sort of, you know, only evolves once, flying normal, and, you know, I, I don't... Spiro's okay, Pidgey's overused, we have Doduo, you know, and Dodrio kicks ass, and I don't care what you say, Dodrio is awesome. Yeah, this Dodio, Doduo, it's going to be pain to raise up, but it, it, it will have its day. It'll have his day soon. And that day will come, and the world will burn under the might of my triple-headed bird, which is currently uh, not even my bird yet, and it's two heads, but it will have three heads at some point. Yeah. Yeah, it's just pecking me out. Pecking me to death, man. Pecking me to death. Throw myself in the accent right here, and let's bring it all back now. No. Yes. It's a great ball. Just, you know, why not? And, come on, please, thank you. Thank the Lord Jeebus. Uh, okay. I've been saying Jeebus a lot. Am I, if I to talk directly into the microphone like this, am I, does it sound like I'm torsely to the side or not? Because it says I'm equal on both sides. I'm too busy playing with my new microphone. Yeah, that's my test run of this episode, so leave a comment, tell me how awesome I sound. My new microphone. 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 Yeah, and stuff. Let's go uh, heal up this new bird of mine. I called him Drill. I called her Drillbit. 
Drill Bit, because it, it sounds like a cool name, you know, Drill Bit. Come on, Drill Bit. Drill Bit. Yeah. And we can finally get rid of this Doe Trio, you know. We even need a three-headed mole and we got a two-headed bird, man. Yeah. Oh, get a stupid... Yeah, it, it, it's the lag for my recording. Anyway, I'd say I healed up and got rid of uh, Doe Trio. This Doe Trio. Well, no Doe... Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Why do they make names sound so familiar, man? I got... Yeah. It's only Doe Duo right now. Oh, wait, no, I still have him. Never mind. I, I thought I got rid of him. I didn't. Post commentation. Don't blame me. Blame the writers. Yeah. Uh, intensity of our love scares me. The intensity of my love. Oh, look. They, they, they have perfect... They have red hair. You know, redheads are attracted to each other since they are a very, very small minority. They... They love each other very much, yes. They, you know, a red person's always, a redhead person's always excited to see someone else with red hair. You know, it's gonna try drill bit, drill bit, drill bit. It's gonna be a problem if I can't say drill bit. Okay, it, I just now realized that. Going up to Rapidash and Nine Tails. Pretty sure we haven't seen either of them right now. Yeah. That was the on. Didn't hear it. Because I have a brand new microphone, that's why. Uh, drill bit. Game of confused, of course. Uh, hurt self confusion, of course. Anyway, uh, Rapid Nash evol Evolution of Ponyta. I'm pretty sure we've only seen one Ponyta so far, and uh, Nine Tails Evolution of Vulpix. Yeah, we saw one earlier this episode. Uh, Nine Tails being Fire and Psych Attack, Rapid Dash being Fire Time. Both are pretty fast. Um, Nine Tails, I believe, has actually pretty decent special defense. Don't quote me on that. Blame the writers. Um, new, my new motto right there, blame the writers. And it looks like a drill bit being nine levels lower than everyone else might have not been the best choice. Whatever. Yeah, I got a new microphone. But, um, yeah. He'll have his shield. She'll have her day. Yeah. Is that a cowbell? I just don't realize there's cowbell. Needs more cowbell. Needs more snowball microphone. Yeah. It's a really little light, so it's on. Yeah. Cool, it has a little tripod, so I feel like a, you know, like a radio jockey, you'd be like, Yes, this is Hello Game Point in the morning, make sure to download our apps, you can hell the Game Point while well, listening to Hello Game Point, Point on the radio. And that would have been something cooler if I actually, you know, went to college and got myself a radio jockey degree, because they, yeah, they have those. Google it, kids, Google it. You know. It's right next to Cordon Bleu, you know. How do you get in? Good effort. Um, I got a mole with no arms who cut down the tree, which I could step over. Here's um, a really hidden, hidden machine. Hidden machine 02. Uh, highly, highly useful. Especially in battle. I actually really like this. Uh, it's Fly. She said that right there. And it's Fly, yes. And uh, we're gonna teach it a drill bit here, because drill bit has no wings, but drill bit can fly, because she's just that cool. In the anime, they showed how they did it. Um, it was in, I think this was the first couple episodes of season three, when they're in Johto fighting Flackner. Well, Faulkner. I, I don't know. Does Flackner has to do with shooting down planes? You assume it would be Flackner, but actually it's Faulkner. Because everyone calls it Faulkner, so. It's Faulkner now. Yeah. It, it, it for some reason, decides it's going to ride the air like a bicycle. Then we teach it uh, air lace, right? aerial. Aerial. Like the name, but having to do with aeronautics, like planes, which are shot down by flak. Yeah. And uh, we caught an aerial ace. Uh, yep. Which I've been holding on to since we just got out of the one route. Yod. Oh man, I'm. Oh. I realize how late it is, it's almost seven. Yeah, it, this thing I was like. Man. Playing. Bastion all day long. Next thing I know, it's five o'clock. Well, what did I do for the last like seven hours? Oh, I was killing stuff in Bastion. Yeah, but it's a really, really good game. Like, I you know it's kind of shaky in the reviews. Seemed kind of a artsy fartsy sort of thing, but it, it's a really, really fun arcade game. You know, it's only twelve bucks. It's highly recommended. Actually, you know, I think it's doing the math right now. Yeah, twelve, maybe ten plus. 80, I mean, I don't know, it's 12 bucks ish, maybe, yeah. 12 and a half, maybe? Something like that. 
Anyway, uh, we're now on the roof of the Seldon, um, Seldon, so like apartment building, can't remember what it's called. And we got a free Eevee up here, yo, free Eevee. I sound like Steve here. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that was actually a pretty good impression from my end, I'm not sure about you guys. Uh, it's Eevee. And, uh, we'll be using Eevee, I know, because, you know, I already had, I already used the Eevee in XD, because I started out with Eevee, you know. And L3, that's one of the biggest complaints about this game, is that you can't get an Umbreon Espeon until you get the natural decks, which is after you finish the main story, and you finish the secondary story. Uh, and that's one of the main complaints of this game. Um, so I'm stuck with the options of Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. Well, Jolteon, Vaporeon's awesome. I, I love Vaporeon. It's probably my favorite of the original three. Umbreon, well, Iceon's probably my favorite overall. I love Iceon. But, um... You know, I already have a really fast electric type, I already have a really hardy water type, and Flareon sucks. Especially in this generation. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the apartment building, not from the rooftop now, but actually from, well, the back area. We're actually gonna go for the ground floor, a couple things in here. We got this old lady, she was like, you should spend all your money on drinks! Take this tea! Yes. It's really the best. Really the best. And we're gonna go up a couple floors. Of course, I can't run inside buildings since it isn't Generation 4. Rage. And, uh, nothing's in this floor, I believe. Nope. Condominiums. Yes, that's what we call the uh, Seldon Condominiums. Yeah. Or Seldon Commons or something like that. Anyway, uh, this is the gra Game Freak area. You know, because Game Freak puts themselves in all the Pokemon games. So, I'm a graphic artist, I drew you! Is that right? I'm the game designer. Film your Pokedex is tough, but don't quit. When you finish, come see me. Because I'm going to give you a little thing that says, Hey, congratulations, you finished the Pokedex. This absolutely gives you nothing in the game other than some little paper thing you can look at. And you can print down in Generation 2 if you have the Game Boy printer, which they don't make, and they made like 20. The whole planet. And I believe there's nothing up here. Might be a hidden item up here. I don't know. And I believe this is where the guy is in Heart Gold Soul Silver. He's like, hey, got a story for you, buddy. Come see me after midnight when the sun's down. I'm right. I have to get this microphone. Okay, I'm going to back off now. Sorry, I really like my new microphone. He has a little tripod. He's like, hey. Hey, guys. I have a microphone. Yeah. This is a Sildon department store. First floor. And, um, yeah, a couple things in here. This is the, uh, large apartment store in the game. And, uh, we're gonna go all the way up to floor... five? I believe, right? Hmm. Actually, uh, floor four, maybe. Yeah. Well, am I right? Am I right? Uh, am I right? Yes. Okay, this guy, right here, this guy sells you Pokedows. We're gonna buy one. This is for a little side quest later on. Uh, Retro Mail, um, I believe it's supposed to be based off of the Generation 2 Mail. Anyway, they sell Fire Stones, Thunder Stones, Water Stones, and Leaf Stones, and guess what? Um, we have someone in our party who can be evolved by using, um, Thunderstone. And of course that's gonna be Choo Choo. Okay, we're gonna finally get ourselves a, P a Raichu, because Pikachu sucks in comparison to Raichu. I don't care what you say. Yeah. Plus that's a light bulb, blah 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 blah, it's a light bulb, guys. Which not in this game, so yeah, Pikachu sucks. But um, anyway, I actually looked this up to make sure I'm doing this right. The best time to evolve your Pikachu to Raichu is if uh, it knows Thunderbolt. That's the one big thing, because like you learn Thunder quicker than Raichu, but Thunder is also a TM you can buy, and Thunder with a hot, really low accuracy is only only worth it if you have a uh, Rain Dance with it. And I'm gonna wait that long just to get Thunder. I have Thunderbolt, I'm more happy with that than Thunder. So I'm gonna evolve Choo Choo now after I'm done selling these TMs. And you might be wondering why I'm selling these TMs, but you'll see that later because I need as much money as possible. Yeah. I'm gonna go keep a Brick Break and Secret Power for a even later party member because I need as much cash as possible right now. You're gonna see that later. Yeah. Anyway, um. Let's do this, man. Let's use our Thunderstone. Yes, I can't get myself a Steve voice anymore. I, I can, I can sort of feel it, but it wasn't as good as it was before. Anyway, Choo Choo is evolving! Yay! Do. Yeah. 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 Ye
Then I changed the beat up because I felt like it. And there we go. It evolved into uh, right two. See, it wouldn't work if it had three syllables, but a two, so yeah, it worked. That's my dog whining in the background. Can't hear that because I got a brand new microphone. Blind cell background sound. Yeah, and they're whining. Actually, you might be able to hear it. And you're being loud out there, puppy. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not a dog abuser. She's whining because she wants attention. You know, I'll give her to her later. I got five more minutes to go, dog. Hear me? Okay, we're gonna buy um one of each for this little brat over here. Uh, sister's trainer, but she's immature. She drives me nuts. Isn't that the truth? God, younger brothers can punch them inside the head and they shut up, and you know, younger sisters don't allow to touch them, so they're like, rah, rah, rah. Anyway, if you give her um, all three, you'll get a light screen, and Soda Pop will give you a um, uh, safeguard, and in the last one, you get a reflect. With light screen, if you use it, it raises your team member's special defense for five to eight turns, I believe, and safeguard makes it so you can get no status connection. Conditions. So I mean, like you know, um, sun spore won't work, sleep powder won't work, poison powder won't work, um, hypnosis won't work, and um, you won't freeze to get hit by ice beam because everyone loves ice beam. Ice beam's the best TM ever. Don't forget that, kids. Except for secret power, which we all know is the ultimate move. Um, what else? Uh, and reflect raises your normal defense. Well, I'd like to call it physical defense, but normal defense by. You know, for five day turns, sort of like light screen, except for normal defense. Yeah, which can be broken by Brick Break, which we have right there. I'm gonna sell all three of these because I don't use defensive moves that much. Which I consider defensive moves being, you know, stat boosters or stuff like that. Basically, moves that don't do damage. I I just like to dish out damage constantly, and it, it you know, arguably in the meta game, yeah, I'd be. Using a lot more defensive moves, but you know, in the main game, don't worry about combos. Just smash our skulls in. You know, it's yeah. It ain't a science project. Yeah. Anyway, uh, man, a couple things more things to do. Things that I'm gonna do. I don't know, it's, is that an aid? What am I do? Summon a solar subscope. The thief came running this way. I've lost sight of him. What shall I do? This song must sound familiar, cause it was in my last episode of Pokemon Stadium, and I need a coin case, do 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 I remember where to get a coin case. Yeah, that was the, um, the casino. Uh, the game thingamajigger, and uh, guy lost all the slots. Talk to this guy here in the Seldon restaurant. I believe the only restaurant in the whole game. Gives you a coin case, which you can coins. It's a case for your coins. There's a secret basement or the game corner. A, a, a lady want to talk to you. Give me some service. Yeah, Pokemon Weeks so off. Going to drug store. Uh, it's not called a drug store. It's um. It's called Pokemart. It's the drugstore was decided as a derogatory, derogatory, derogatory word towards drug dealers. They're uh, now um, non-legal medicine makers. Is a much nicer word. They're trying to figure out how to get non-legal out of there. Yeah. They're um, uncontemporary substance makers, and substance seems kind of you know derogatory too. You know, think of legal substances, but it, it's Canadian thing. You know, everyone has to be nice to each other because it's Canada and they're, you know, home with free in the land of the heavily taxed. But nice. They're nice people, Canadians. Except for the French Canadians, but it's a whole different story. Only some French Canadians are nice. They're being nice French Canadians. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, um, now we get the coin case and we're gonna stop making some French Canadians. And, uh, we're gonna go around. We're gonna fast forward this. We can talk to everyone and they give you, um, coins. You find, you can find coins on the ground, and uh, um, I'm gonna need as much coins as possible to entry for. And I'm gonna need uh, exactly twice as much as I have right now. Yeah, that's why I spent all my money to buy coins because you see, you can spend ten thousand coins or ten thousand bucks on 
500, and I need 4,800. So, I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> yeah, and some of you actually know your prices off the top of your head. One, dude, seriously, and two, um, yeah, that's one, that's my party member right there. I might have spoiled it for you, but yeah. Listen, guys, point Leaf Green's like, no, you, you need like, you know. Actually, no, I'm looking for 26, 2800, and Leaf Green's 4600. And I just totally ruined it right there if you actually know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, the game corner, let me explain this real quick, you actually can redeem really prizes, and some are actually rare Pokemon, that, um, and the prices vary in between games. Like a Porygon, which is 9,999 coins, Leaf Green, I think it's 6,666, and Fire Red. <laughs> it's full of women. Anyway, um, see you guys next time. We're gonna go against this gym, the Nature Loving Princess, next time.